Welcome back everybody to the absolute devastation of the UK, apart from Scotland. Scotland knew it should have got independence earlier and there we go, proven by the seas of change. I hope everybody's well. A couple of little thoughts, having thought about it for a little while. I'm actually going to let this city flood. So this flood power up to the north? Meh. I like, look at all these tiles. These could be fantastic polders. So I'm going to let this city flood. The ones down in the south with less good yields, I think I'll... I'll protect those, that, that seems fair. I don't think I really showed off my railroad last time, so there we go, I've been building it. It's uh, connected up most of my European cities apart from my Polish holdings, and we've gone right over as well, up to the north into Sweden, and hopefully I'll start to connect up Norway very soon. The question I've got is the Golden Gate Bridge. Has it been built already by the AI in a ridiculously stupid location? We don't know, possibly not, here's the thing. Can I connect Britain to the mainland? A channel tunnel except a bridge? A, a sky tunnel, you say? Or do I finally connect, uh, connect Denmark and Sweden as they should be? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to be allowed to do, to be fair. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what comes up as an option. But both would be entertaining. I'm also thinking of this war with Rome. It's, it's good fun, but I'm not really getting a lot of pillaging. I'm just kind of enjoying building mountain tunnels. If I take this city, which fingers crossed with a couple of hits, I will do it very easily. Look, I get reduced to zero health pretty much and we can start battering the units. I think I might just pillage it and uh, raise it to the floor. I don't really see the point in keeping the city. I mean, I could just go and start to pillage the industrial zone a little bit. Now that could be a good, useful thing to do. There's also a mine here. There's no real range defenses they've got now that I've taken on their city. So you know what? I'm going to pillage it to the floor, right to the floor, and then we'll go from there. Then I think I might raise it. I don't need this city. It's going to flood anyway. Is it going to flood? I don't actually know that. Yes, it's going to flood anyway. Ugh, terrible. But they have got seawalls. Have they actually completed the seawalls? You're kidding me. Oh, they actually did complete the seawalls in a couple of cities. Not in Rome. Rome is, Rome is gone. Rome has sunk. Oh well, the eternal city, my my bottom. Oh, Ooh, Rome wants peace. Well, I think we can probably extort a little bit more out of them if we're lucky, depending on how they attack me back. Oh, hello. That's exciting. Macedon and Russia have just gone for me. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That is an exciting twist. A very exciting twist. And Macedon doesn't really share a border with me and they're currently being eaten alive by someone. I think the Ottomans probably. Russia is a bit more of a problem. Their land is sinking so they want someone else's. Okay, fine. If that's what you want to do Russia, that's that's okay. I just... Oh, they've got coal. Maybe I do want to attack Russia. Oh, the bridge has been built somewhere. Okay, never mind. That's a little bit unfortunate. I was looking forward to building that. Ugh, oh, the AI. Ruins your fun every time. Just actually thinking, where is my where's my cool navy? My cool navy was just heading down to go and pillage Spain, but if Russia's gone to war with me, well, I can now sail right into their land. Look at that. Ho ho ho! Oh, it's tempting. Oh, hello, Russia. That's a navy. And now the navy's gone. But thank you, Russia, for playing that game. That was good fun. Let's make this pillaging worth it. 748 gold. Very nice. And 374 science. That is a turn's right worth. Good. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Like, as much as the game thinks this matters, that this river flooding is a bad thing, the whole thing is underwater. Like, there are bigger problems. Yes, there's a small flood coming from upstream, but the sea has also come in, so, you know. Goodness me, look how much land has been lost. Is that... does that count as submerged land? Yeah, it does. Blimey. Oh my word, like when I was an island, wasn't it? Oh, I was thinking this entirety of this area had gone, but no, not quite. Yeah, I think we've bulldozed this city enough. Let's just quickly come in. Lovely, it's converted to my religion. Of course it is. And I'm just going to double check and see if it's got any great works in it, which it does not. Very good. Lovely. Raise it. Raise it dead. I'm hoping if we start doing that, they will offer me a very good peace deal indeed. What do you reckon gives better peace deals? The threat of destroying everything or the fact that I haven't destroyed everything but could? I don't know. No idea which strategy is more effective there, but I'm just trying everything. Yeah, you see? Better trade deal. Better trade deal. It uh, doubled by about 80 gold per turn. 
There we go. It's a piece with Rome. Very nice. How much gold have they got? 1,211. So I'm hoping we can get a good joint war deal with them. Normally Rome, with their thousand strong army, are kicking around and wanting to expand somewhere. And considering I've just raised a city and their entire kingdom's flooding, ignore that flood around Paris. That's uh, not the right sort of flood at all. I'm hoping they're going to want to go for someone. Oh, they want to go for Babylon. Interesting. I haven't got anything with Babylon. And Babylon probably have nukes. They'll do 442 gold per turn for that. And uh, if we if we take this down a little bit. Yeah, look at that. They'll give me some books as well. I think I like this deal. I think I like this deal a lot. Cool. Right, let's just... I'm going to go around and just do a... Do a little, like, look around and see if anybody wants to join in here. No. No, in short. They are so powerful that no one wants to go near them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can still steal units, including nuclear submarines, which are relatively amusing. Hang on. I just moved Boaty. Uh, I think this is a good one to attack it with. Let's see if we can take over. Oh, no submarine today. That is a bit unfortunate. Never mind. What about with the battleship? Any better? Yay! I stole a submarine. Oh, this is good fun. Globalization gives me options. Total War was doing something good for me. Wars of Religion was doing something good for me, but no longer are they necessary. E-commerce makes my trade routes even better, especially the ones that I have within my own nation. And I also wanted integrated space logistics back as well. New Deal, Public Works, Liberalism, Five Year Plan, Science Foundations. It's all good. I love it. I love it all. Lock it. Let's load it. Let's double check Amsterdam if I start sending more. Oh, look at these gold routes to Rome. Lovely stuff. Uh, 231 production coming in per turn at the moment. And the spaceport has just finished. Launch Earth satellite. Two turns. That's a double Goddard boost. Combined with Pingala's space initiative, which is 30%. Combined with a 15% policy card. That's pretty good. I'll take that. That's that's nice. One thing I always need to remember is that you can use military engineers with a spare to boost a city project once you have the relevant building. What building was it called again, you ask? I don't remember. What was it again? The Royal Society. Lovely. There it was. And so it shall be. Stolen a quadrim from one. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Move you into there. Can I steal the car? Uh, the, the frigate? I can. We're doing well. So far, so good. We're stealing all of Russia's ships and they are going to regret declaring war on me pretty quickly, hopefully. Can we pillage this? Yes, we can. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There may oh, be no oh, yes. Look at the flooding. Look at it. It's so comprehensive. And most importantly, yeah, once the graphics all have a little think about what they're doing, I should be able to put more polders down now. I can. Unfortunately, in some parts, the land is it's, it's retreating so quickly that I can't put polders everywhere. But already some amazing tiles. How's Britain doing? Oh, dear. That's pretty sunken okay well you know what there's actually not going to be a whole load of space i can put polders this is amazing <laughs> i love it enough though there is enough space for me to put some polder down so i shall oh this game was worth it just for that just to see that i honestly think god this is entertaining i love it i love how broken england is now and how the sea walls are just retreating into nothing I almost think it, yeah, as I say, it's flooded so hard that I can't put polders in all of the gaps. But, I mean, still, we love it. That's a new city as well. Oh, that's a very polderific city as well. Imagine if, right, isn't this a cool mod? So you could just put polders anywhere that's already flooded. Like, regardless of the three tile thing, if it's, you know, submerged due to sea level, then you can put a polder on it, because that kind of makes sense. This, by the way, is the Earth Dong. The massive space dong heading into the atmosphere to reveal the world to me. And it is a beautiful world. I hadn't actually met Nubia. Hello, Nubia. You have 271 science, and how did I, how did they not meet you? Like, you're just trapped behind Egypt. How have you not killed Egypt by now? Oh, yeah, Egypt is now an island. Egypt doesn't exist anymore. We won't talk about that. Look at that. Nubia forced forced over to go and settle the desert and look how rubbish oh, i always say this nubian pyramids are just the worst oh babylon's doing so well though so that's my first project they haven't got the exoplanet expedition up just yet not just yet but we do need to keep an eye on that so mongolia started there on this map interesting 
And they just went, whoa, straight towards Europe and then sort of gave up and went the other way. They were like, nope. Oh, wow. Oh, my lord. The map it had its forest fires. It had the endless forest fire. I love that. Burning Woods. 24 production, 26 food. Oh, it happened. I love it when this happens on the map. It doesn't always happen, but when it does, when it does, my word, that is good fun. Oh, yields round here will be so good. That's why Mongolia are doing so well, I think, and why they've got such a huge military. Amazing stuff. You'd love to see it. It's also why Posad uh, and they, these cities all have one population, because they've just been burnt alive. Oh, those are good tiles, though. Oh, look at this polder. It's even better. 12 production, 5 gold, 14 food. Yes. This is what we wanted to see. Oh my god, there's so little of Ireland left. I can't actually put any polders down. But this is what I mean. Like, it's it's already submerged land. This should be polderable, I think. Isn't that, that's the whole point of polders. I don't know. I'm moaning. I'm moaning over what is a very enjoyable game. I'm loving it. Golden Age for Hungary, Dark Age for Rome, interesting, and for Gaul. Okay, that is very interesting. I've got to go for Reform the Coinage again because all of my traders are providing huge production for my capital right now. Oh, Dark Age for Gaul again. Okay, right, I think they've lost kind of all the cities they were going to lose, unfortunately. So we've done all that. Oh, Nantes. Nant. Nant? Nant? Oh, yeah, I think it's something like that. Uh, but Rome, oh, Rome is going to, oh, they're not going to lose any because of a very clever Statue of Liberty play. Where is the Statue of Liberty? There it is. Interesting. I might have to see if I can do something about that. Major flood. You don't say. You don't say. Can I steal another submarine? Yay. Yeah, I can. Oh, I love this. Just by being at war with Russia, we're just effectively making our army huge. There goes the moon landing. Off you go, Space Dong, into the sky, granting me a one-time culture bonus of a lot. Environmentalism is done. Perfect, I believe. Now that we can go for a government in a second, let's go social media first and then we can go government. Nice. Can I steal this submarine fleet? No. Oh. Never lets me steal a fleet. I guess that's probably fair. It would be pretty, pretty powerful if that was almost a guaranteed thing. And that is the stolen Russian city. And it's raised now. <laughs> oh, that was good fun. Do we just keep raising some stuff? That could be fun. The island of St. Petersburg is here. Hmm. What do I just get gold to send back to my capital? I might just get some gold. Actually, I'll let them. I'll let them come to me with a peace offer because they will make it a lot better. Okay, see? 92 gold per turn. Better. Synthetic technocrancy. We've done it. That's going to massively, massively help my capital be the best it ever could be. So Spain is finally going to space. Harambay has just started smart materials. Okay. Okay. And we have just got nanotechnology. So we're one behind still, annoyingly. But it won't take long to catch up. I'm just building spies. I'm actually building spies. You're all very proud of me, right? Right? I, I'm proud of myself. Uh, oh, Schrodinger. Schrodinger. Schrodinger is really good. And, um, okay, she gives science for rainforests. And I don't believe, I might be wrong, but I don't think there are any rainforests in Europe. I'm pretty, pretty sure, unless the game tells me otherwise. I'm pretty sure that would be a useless one. Yep, I'm sorry. Um, we'll pass on you. Someone else, our goal will get hurt, no doubt. And we'll go from there. But, Schrodinger, come on. Come on now, give me some cool stuff. What can I do? Build an oil power plant. I could just do that to stop that from being picked. Telecommunications, drones, kill a fighter. Build a nuclear power plant. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to build an oil power plant quickly. Factory and then oil. There we go, advanced ballistics. Perfect. Let's pick him up. Nuclear fusion, telecommunications, guidance systems. I think guidance systems was good. Nuclear fusion was good as well. So actually that puts me massively in the right place. Okay, one turn, one turn, three turns, two turns, two turns. This is good. This is good. I've got a lot of science projects going on in my cities as well. So we are rushing this as quick as we can. Synthetic technocrancy. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, we're going to lose a couple of amenities by doing that, but I'm hoping this will work out in the longer run. Okay, so Mars Colony is now going up into the sky. That's good. This military engineer only has one charge, but, you know, it's worth worth putting down all the same. Still, I've got a, a spy on the way to Babylon. Let's put one into the second city as well. 
and you can see I've got two cards cryptography which helps my spies go a little bit better and then nuclear espionage which helps me to steal a second thing if I can. If I can boost my way through the late stage ones, I can catch up with Babylon a little quicker. I'm only trying to get a science victory and it's proving a little difficult because there's no aluminium. This is always a good card. Aerospace Contractor. So these with the spaceport gain three aluminium and three power. It's also in late stage domination games, a very good card if you're looking to build an air force. Not that I've ever needed to build an air force in any of my games. I totally peaceful in how I play. I had somebody in the comments say, Ursa Ryan, Cliffs of Dover can't flood, what are you doing, blah blah, and actually look at this, told you, <laughs> they did flood. I, I think it's an error in the map script, but still, very entertaining. Okay, Babylon has upgraded death robots, which means they are well into the late stage game here. Okay, steel tech boost, is it worth jumping straight in or do I go for sources first? gonna take eight turns to do each one. I've got to go risky, I think, and just go for it. it. May not pay off for me there, but I'll do what I can. In theory, I only need one of these to go through because it's only like a few late game techs I need. Well, actually, no, I need all, but in fact, I need all of them. It is a very, very linear tech tree today. Okay, fair play. Oh my lordy, it's Grace Hooper. Hopper? I can never pronounce her name, I'm sorry, but it's definitely Grace and she gains two randomly chosen three technologies. She's amazing. She is just amazing. So what I'm going to do is let nuclear fusion go through and then I think it's worth just popping her as quickly as possible. Now I've got two bad choices, telecommunications and stealth tech. They are irrelevant. Everything else is relevant. So sort of hoping that it'll go for guidance systems or lasers, but we'll see. It, it's a bit of a gamble. I, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get something decent. Oh, I just actually <laughs> I had to reload into the game, which is why it sort of looks a bit different. But look, Britain's back. It's it's back. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be back. I'm going to just load the turnover and hopefully it'll go back to its disgusting self. All my folders are still just in the middle of the land, so, you know, it's a bit weird. Yeah, look, it's still showing as coast because I'm getting a gold from the tile. It's like the lighthouse and the seaport are all working still. Very odd. Maybe, maybe the game will reload it in a second. There's the Mars colony, by the way, so we are three projects into this. The third space dong. Off it pops. Lovely. No, no, graphically, Britain is still absolutely weirded, so who knows what's going on there. Yeah, it actually still has me sailing around. That is weird. Oh yeah, this is this is very broken. Very broken. Anyway, let's see what we get. Stealth tech, that's not good. Guidance systems, that is good. Okay, we got one. We got one lucky choice there. One lucky choice. Okay, cool. Lasers. Robotics, nuclear fusion. Now, I'm not going to take the piece from Hungary because I do have troops on the way to pillage their campuses. I'm trying to rush the science as much as I physically can. Voting, it's pointless. Uh, synthetic technocracy, double engineers. Uh, who has points? Russia, oh no, Hungary, Mongolia, Mongolia. Mongolia for the diplomatic win. What a world this would be. What a world. Monarchy, no great scientists. Oh, that's kind of backfired. There's nothing I could have done, by the way. Look, like Mongolia's choosing no great scientists for eight. So I'm being outvoted massively. Peter gets them. Shit. All right, then. Well, there we go. We're in World's Fair. World's Fair will get us some boosts. That's pretty good. Nuclear fusion, robotics. It's all still good. I don't think predictive systems isn't very helpful to me at the moment. I'm just trying to think what's the best way to go down. Actually, they're both pretty even. Oh, I did manage to snag Sagan though, because I had so many uh, stacked up points. Salam would have been really useful, but actually information error I think I've already boosted, haven't I? Yes, we already boosted that. Okay, so that's not so good. No, oh, I was gonna use a mechanized inventory army, 102 strength. Oh, to go and pillage, and it just had half its health taken away in a sequence of ranged attacks. God, that is powerful. And it's a fourth level one as well. I think it's even got the tortoise, it does. Oh, so do I just stand there and take the one pillage it's gonna give me, or do I run my very, very powerful unit back? I and I've got, I've just unlocked giant death robots, so maybe I can do that instead, 330. Mm, I don't think it's going to do very well for me. All right, well, I think, okay, we're gonna use giant death robots instead, I think, come back. Question is, do I have any uranium in my land at all? Again, I think the answer is probably 
No. Oh, there's some on that little island there. Is that the Orkneys? Pretty sure that isn't uranium on the Orkneys. I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah, Hungary's got a bunch. No uranium. I, mean, I can't even use giant death robots. Terrible news. There's cybernetics and... Ooh! I stole off world mission. I stole off world mission. And predictive systems. Oh, yes. The double boost. Okay, so there's off world mission. There is the Lagrange laser station. We've got cybernetics as well at the same time. That is... Wonderful. Not the thing we were after though, unfortunately. So nuclear fusion and predictive systems, it's time to go down your tree now. And oh, and by just literally this turn did the fourth project. Okay, we can catch up quick. We can catch up quick, but what we need to do is have a good sequence of moves ready and available. We need to be able to rush as many of these projects through as quickly as we can. First of all, we make sure that we've got production focus on and that we've got all of the tiles available in this city being worked. We also know that I've got one bonus resource that could be removed there. So that's a stone. So um, we're going to start to get a few builders in the immediate vicinity. Now builders are good because they've got five charges and I can use them to rush projects. That's good. We're also going to stock the city up with traders, uh, sewers to make it as big as possible, banks, yes, stock exchanges, yes, broadcast centers. The city's got to be as good as possible. Really, it's kind of like the, the main thing. Production's the most important thing. Great. Olge keeps shooting people. Sure. Oh, I didn't mean to make Olge shoot off in a jet of fire. Okay, that was a mistake. Um, no idea where Olga is off to. Olga is blasting off again! Oh, for goodness sake, Pingala was just taken out of Amsterdam because of my flippin' misclick of Olga! Oh, Olga! It's literally been one of those games where I cannot do anything right and Baldwin. This is something that does happen. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying, Oh, Ryan, you need to train I your spies up in foreign and cities and then bring them back to counter spy. Yes, yes, that is a strategy, but normally if you stack up counter spying, you can also level up that way, right? So it's not a problem. The problem is, is if you have a level three spy and level one spy, the level one never upgrades, so it just sort of sits there. So that is something I should do. Um, yes, I'm going to try on foot. Failure. Ugh, it's always the way. I would rather he die than, than come back empty-handed, but he did. Oh no, I can't promise that. All right, well, I'll put Magnus in my capital instead. Hopefully he will just buff it a little bit, especially with the chopping that I can do. I'm also going to start taking cities from Hungary because I can, really, but also war might just help to push my gender a little bit quicker. Victor, get down from Norway. I don't know what you were doing up there, but it's not relevant. I cannot pillage anything on Hungary because these machine gun armies are eating me. Every time I send a unit into their borders, boom, it just gets killed. I don't know where all of these Spanish cultists are going, though. This is really weird. They've been using my entire empire as a highway for some time now, and they're off somewhere. Like, oh, for goodness sake, military emergency. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have taken that city. Oh, this is what I love about Deity Plus Plus, by the way. Like, it's genuine kingdoms warring against each other. Hungary is, is stood there, giving me an absolute problem. Like, they are doing so, so well. Babylon's now at war with me. Rome is if now at war with me. I've lost all of my gold income in one, in one go. Spain? Did you see Spain? Yes, Spain are at war with me. Um, sorry, don't mind me while I go... da ba da ba da da ba da ba da 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 Doopity 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 do 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 do. I really hope this gives them like hundreds and hundreds of relics. I don't think it will. I think you have to have them killed in actual combat rather than like sort of this sort of just <laughs> being run over by a tank. They're smart materials though. That's to put the thing to the sky. Oh, there's so many turns. So many turns left. There's no, oh, I'm not going to do this in time unless I can find a way of boosting it. Only light, one year light year per turn though from Babylon. They haven't put any projects into the sky just yet. But are any of these other targets a little easier for me to steal science from? The answer is probably yes. There are campuses in Rome that are probably a lot less defended. I think. I think Rome has less science. Let me just double check that. Uh, Rome has 58 and Hungary has 53 so no they probably are stronger annoyingly they are probably stronger okay right well in that case that's a problematic maybe spain spain are stronger still oh 
Everyone on my border has actually survived really well. Oh, the final piece of world climate has gone, and uh, unfortunately there's a graphical glitch still. I'm going to just try reloading, uh, reloading the game, see if I can get it to show the polders, because polders are now appearing in places. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Look, that gives the real fundamental problem of what's happening properly. Oh, poor Blighty. Poor Blighty. Offshore wind farms, eh? That's not really really what I wanted to do. I wanted polders. Why won't you give me polders? There's not literally not enough land to make polders anymore. That's, it's all gone. It's all gone. In fact, yeah, I literally don't have enough tiles of land to put polders down anymore. Ah, oh, modding community, assemble. I ask you, please, please, can you make a mod that makes polders? available to put on the submerged or flooded land like imagine imagine how great that'll be oh Amsterdam what's happened here eh I had to do a full restart if anyone was curious by the way it was um took a while the amount of North Africa that is gone is hilarious and look how wide there's a new Gibraltar Gibraltar is no longer needed because you can just sail underneath it I love that. All of Spain's. And Spain has done fantastically on this map. They really have colonized Morocco beautifully. I'm, I'm very impressed with AI. They've done a good job. What happens if you plunder an aerodrome? Oh, you get gold. I was really hoping you'd get science. Oh, Russia has been terrible. They leave nothing on the coast that can be really plundered. Like, well, they do leave bits and pieces, but like hardly anything very frustrating very very frustrating never mind i have however managed to pillage there we go one pillage on rome i don't know what the cost is going to be to my army there but we have smart materials thank goodness that we got something there okay great that means i can now rush the project which i'm going to do immediately exoplanet expedition mr sagan should be ready there we go Okay, so we've now caught Babylon up, but they are turns ahead of me. I would say they probably went into space like 10 turns before me. Exoplanet Expedition, yes, on turn 252. So they are nine turns ahead of me right now. Nine points ahead of me. We need to remember that. They are still traveling at one per turn for the moment, but that will change soon. I think they were just a little bit behind on tech. Oh, Coastal Tiles flooded. Three, submerged, 1,202 tiles. That's a lot of submersion. Let's see the damage. What ranged attacks have they got? Ooh, 23 to the mechanized inventory and modern armor. That's quite a lot. Okay, we've got to be a little bit careful here. I don't have many turns in danger land before I get hit. I might get another double steel, actually. I have a steel tech boost going, and that's gain sources is just about to hit off before that point, and then I've got another chance in a little bit. If Babylon has those techs. I will take it from them. But I don't think they do. I think that's the problem. That's why Babylon hasn't been able to boost the project at all. Because we have seen the computer boost projects with the real strategy mod on. So I'm not willing to say that they're not doing it. Oh, how did the mod Nama survive that? I thought they were a goner. I genuinely believed they were a goner there. Sources gained. Sources are gained. Good. Good, 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 good. Where the hell is the spaceport? The spaceport is here. Okay, there's one. It's not doing anything. That one's not doing anything. That one's not doing anything. Look, they've got too many spaceports to have, like, they yeah, they don't have the tech. They can't have the tech. Not with that many spaceports. All right, I'm actually beginning to disable Roman defenses as well, which is helping a huge amount, because now I can nip my units through and try and get to the real sort of pillage zones here. Like, there is an industrial zone right on the coast that I want to get to. Oh, there's a lot of industrial zones that I want to get to, but this one will just do my best. But look, I've got the walls down now, so they can't shoot me anymore. Okay, okay, he just got promotion available. Yes! Advanced power cells. Done. And advanced AI. That was the boost we were looking for. Bond 2. We just shaved four turns. Four turns minimum. Oh, this is good. Ooh. Ooh, fabricate scandal or format unrest? Let's go format unrest. Oh, this is a good ex I just, I never play with spies really because I think the production and risk value diplomatically to the results and the sort of yields you get just are never quite worth it, but it's good fun using them for once. It's like, yay, being a shooty boy. Oh no, no, no. Why did you melee attack the city, you lunatic? No. 
get back here. Oh, thank goodness you can pillage, Boaty McBoatface, you absolute rebel. A little bit of pillaging over here now. Very good. Advanced power cells is mine. Fantastic. We are slowly getting there and I'm just knocking out these Roman defences so they can't do anything to me. It's quite handy. Russia wants to send submarines against us, do they? Well, what they're going to find is that all their submarines suspiciously start joining me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Go on, join the cool gang. Yes. I just started bombing St. Petersburg. Why? I'm not really sure. It's just quite therapeutic, really. Oh, Magnus got neutralized from my capital as well. Goodness me, even with Olge there. Ah. Oh. Dear, oh dear. I, I am having everyone. Luckily, Pingala is now alive again. The immortal husk of Pingala is dragged from his sarcophagus once again to wage war. Oh dear. Why won't you... Why won't you protect me properly, Ursa? Why? Oh, what have I ever done? And I'm like, shush you. Back, back into governance. If you get killed again, it's all Gay's fault, not mine. There you go. Off-world mission. Finally. Goodness me, my ineffective army finally did it. Gah, can we do it? I might boost it by one turn if I get this last pillage off, which is unlikely, but you never know. I might just about pull it off. Just as I had a second modern armor army, I just managed to get through as well. Can I jump back to this campus? Yes, lovely. Oh, I've got a third one as well. I've forgotten to build one here. Nice. To the front line you come. Spain keeps sending units from their coast in order to attack France and they keep sort of sending them over and going, um, sir, sir, where, where is France? I, I keep expect the map says France should be here. And they sort of sail and there's a, oh, no, there's a, there's a harbour. And then, like, they just sail past and it's nothing but sea past the harbour. It's just nothing but a pirate cove. Oh, hello. This is a weird thing to have a look at. Ooh, a nuclear submarine just bombarded me. Exciting. Oh, more things for me to steal. Just like that. Huzzah! More theft. Theft is good. Theft is what Ursa suggests that you do. One light year per turn. Yep, 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 yep. I'm pretty sure. So what? sometimes what happens is the AI will kind of... If they're up the future era now, they weren't there a couple of turns ago. But yeah, I think they've just bypassed it and they weren't doing the project properly. Oh, but there we go. Off-world mission boosted and this is where we get fresh and cool i've built so much power around my capital it now has 27 power from local renewables i think that should be fine terrestrial laser station boosting time this is how we catch back up there is the um resource that i can boost and then i come with the boosting project oh i thought that would be enough it wasn't oh next turn you can't help but think that if pingala was still alive that would have been fine. First extra dong is gone. Okay, we're gonna have to power the thing, but we've got so much renewable energy, we should be able to do that pretty nicely. Go on, Russia. I've got your capital now. I have your capital now. Oh, I'd love to be able to raise it. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Oh, this is true blackmail. I'll give it back to you in exchange for all of your things. Thank you so much. <laughs> I now have all of the things in my capital. Or not just my capital, everywhere. I'm full. That's what we call colonial appropriation. As a Brit, I know how to do that very well. <laughs> Looking at you, Greece. One more danger noodle. Off it goes into the sky. Perfect. Okay. Right, that's my it's my sort of third one. You can see the little little puff of smoke from that as well. Perfect. Okay, the builders are taking a turn off each as well that's good no oh, what is this grants tourism in each of the city's districts equal to its adjacency bonus oh well i've got a i've got a nine so let's do that perfect i'm just gonna steal this roman city kind of because i can i think that's a fair reason isn't it i'm just gonna stay loyal and everything haha -ha. maybe i'll get a good peace deal from them and another one into the sky i'm really hoping this means we've kind of now overtaken babylon Stealing gold from them as well. 3,000 gold. Lovely, lovely. Genghis is going to space. Spain is going to space. But I am going to space faster. Haha! -ha. Not, um, not better, mind. Just faster. I've taken everything I can from Rome, so I'm going to give their city back, hopefully. 
I'll repair it and I can steal it all over again. Another danger noodle into the sky, it flies. Lovely. You've got to let it fly off quite a long way. And then the smoke oh, trail sticks in the sky, do you see? Oh, it's so cool. I love it. It's just such a nice touch. One more danger noodle. And honestly, this couldn't come fast enough because Spain right now is absolutely is awesome. harassing me with giant doofy doofy. Oh, I don't know where that was going. Giant death robots, hell colossus and terrible monstrosity. As well as uh, over on this coast, I saw... Where have they gone? Oh, don't you love it when the giant death robots disappear? There was another one down here somewhere. It's gone. I don't trust it when they disappear like that. One more danger noodle. Totalitarianism. Okay, okay. I'm not entirely sure why I was doing that. I must have just clicked on a button without thinking. Fair play. I don't want to be fascist. Democracy's fine with me. I love Civ. You can say such statements as, Yeah, I don't fancy fascism today. But tomorrow? Hmm. Who knows? One more into the sky. I think that's number eight. So we're, yeah, accelerating. That was our entire deficit to Babylon pretty much per turn now. So we're getting there. Trust your laser stations. Actually, yeah, just sacrificing a builder each turn is taking it from two to one every single turn. It's just such a great, great thing. I'm going to join a betrayal emergency because it might actually make or force peace with people, which is quite fun. If I can do that, then it kind of keeps me safe and basically takes all of these giant death robots out of my territory who are stomping around, absolutely destroying everything. Oh, okay. Uh, Gran, Gran Columbia. Apparently they existed in the game at some point. Um, where they are? No one's sure. Terrestrial laser station is gone. That's another one. Good. Even though the I mean, seems... okay, great. So that that is somebody that exists in the game. I, I have no... Where have they been hiding? I love it. That's a, that's a glitch from the game, I think, isn't it? An absolute glitch from the game. So we are now at peace with Spain. We are now at peace with everyone, which is awesome. Oh, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Simon Boulevard has so few units because they don't exist that I can get some amazing joint wars. <laughs> oh, the game is too predictable. I'm what a ride. What a ride that We've game was, eh? Ugh, oh, that was absolutely crazy. We only got third on score. Ah, oh, I don't know. Oh, what can you do? What do you have to do in this game, eh? Uh, Stayity plus plus. It makes it so difficult. You can't just roll over people like in other modes. But look at that. We did take pretty much 30 cities. I lost a couple of cities, actually. Two cities. Dear, that's not good. Uh, play a culture. You can see I never took the culture lead at any point in that game. We had a very strong uh, Spain. And I believe a uh, curtain appeared, apparently. A curtain was in this game. Who is this white? Is that Gaul? No, that's not Gaul. Oh, it's Russia. Of course it's Russia. Okay, so Russia did very, very well in that, but my science was a bit better. There you go, I did take the science lead, although admittedly it wasn't until turn 240. So yeah, again, Spain, very strong science game. Spain played really, really well. I think in terms of cities founded, they must have been winning. Must have been winning, no. It's uh, this deep red, not Gorgo. Who's that? Genghis? Genghis founded the most cities. I was only mid-pack on that, so fantastic. In fact, I only took the score lead from Spain again after turn like 220. So that's absolutely crazy. Religions founded? Good. Good. I was the last to found my religion and it was the best religion. It was the best. I put down three? No. Yeah, three wonders. All of them well worth it war declarations received yeah lots of people declared on me but i think russia might have been the pariah again no they won was it gaul might have been gaul actually no not gaul who else is white and had everyone declaring on them catherine de medici of course poor france poor france oh dear I mean, I have to say, out of everything that happened, I have a few favourites. Firstly, I was just looking over at Mongolia and they actually very sensibly chopped down most of their forest once the yields started getting huge. But some of the yields over here are mad. 22 food and 21 production is got to be a highlight. Uh, 28 food, 28 production. That's insane. Oh man, imagine if you could just survive. Imagine if there was a mod that got rid of population loss for forests, yeah? Imagine that. That would be absolutely mad. So that was a favourite. Um, watching Great Britain disappear 
That was equally a favourite. Poor Ireland. Ireland is now a sequence of one, two, three smaller islands. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty terrible. Cornwall got its independence, finally. Devon, they're off down there. Wales is now segmented and free from the rest of Britain as well, as is Scotland. Scotland. So basically what we did is we, we had multiple sea-based referendums and the UK split up. Um, bits of France were lost, but Spain was hit pretty badly as well. They did manage to get the um, sea walls up. I think. So Spain actually survived a reasonable amount, but look at that. Portugal is like entirely gone. Spain was like, nah, we don't need Portugal. We're fine. Africa as well. Oh boy, that was just ridiculous. But I have to say, the Spanish Africa was amazing to see, as was Mongolia. I really wanted to see them settle up here a bit more. That would have been great. Norway as well. They are really enjoying all of these high yield tiles up to the north. 19 population flooded city there. Look at these sea tiles. Those sea tiles, 14 food, 13 production. Oh, yes. Yes, Norway. And actually, I would have been able to go polder, polder, polder. So maybe, maybe I should have taken those over. But I think if I could mod the Netherlands at all, I would make it so that you can put polders on submerged land. Because clearly that's what you've got to do, right? But I mean, look at that. Look at Amsterdam. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. What a delicious place. What a delicious capital it was. A pleasure to run. 31 population still pumping out those laser stations left, right and centre. In fact, let me just pop that one into the sky. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. It was a series and a half, five episodes I think this will go to. We'll see if that actually comes true. I've got to go on to something else now because these TSL games take a huge amount of time and thank you all for your support. These games really do take ages and ages to film. So all the support you can lend in terms of interaction and Patreon and I have a tip jar on coffee if you want to fuel the caffeine that takes to get through these games and retain the sanity which I need. I don't really have much sanity. I won't lie. Anyway, I'm off to plan another video. See you next time, goodbye! And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Davalex, Dayboy91, Truffa Askby, Paul Coffey, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, and Nim for all of your support, as well as everybody else who engages with the video and helps me to defeat the algorithm. Thank you so much, see you next time!